Okay, good Monday morning, everybody. It is a snowy, cold one out there. Hope you all had a, a good weekend and you're all safe. Uh, I know Washoe County schools are closed this morning and everything else, so the Catholic schools are closed. So everybody enjoy your snow day. Uh, if you work in Chancellor's office, you still have to go to work. Yeah, just take your time getting there, okay? Our Gospel of the Day is from Mark chapter 3, verses 22 through 30. So we have the scene of Mark, Jesus, and Jesus having a conflict with the scribes. And they come at him, and they're accusing him of working for the devil. And Jesus basically destroys that, that argument. Um, and I think what Jesus does is, is, is brilliant. Because what he does is he's forcing them to kind of examine themselves, to ask them, why are you having this conflict with me? What are you really angry about? Because we have to be careful in this. And I think that's part of being, uh, experiencing the freedom of Christ, is we can really look inward. You know, we're going to have conflicts. That's a normal part of any relationship, okay? We're going to have those. And Jesus had them with his own disciples. But the, the point is, we don't have to stay this way. What are we really arguing about? What's the real conflict here? You know, in this situation, or in the conflict in our lives. I think when we can sit back and say, okay, what's really operative here, and then communicate that, that's that freedom of Christ that shows the degree of spiritual maturity. You know, if we're just all the time or doing the passive aggressive thing, then that's not good. That's kind of breaking down the the community building, the community building, because Jesus came so we can maybe one. And he talks about uh, blaspheming the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is there to unite us. And when we work against that, we're working against the Holy Spirit. We're going to have conflicts, but we can use those conflicts to grow stronger. And that's, that's what Jesus really wants us to do. So if we're having a fight with someone, always, I'm not the best at this, I turn up react. But when there's a conflict, we really need to sit down on ourselves and ask ourselves, what's truly going on here? What, what in here is going on? What here do I need to really communicate to the person? How can I build up our relationship and not let it be torn down? And when we can do that, that's the way of Christ. Okay? Now, hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Uh, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Drive safe. Be careful out there. Okay. And uh, see you later. Bye.